Pipe Mania. To be fair, this is a pretty well-known game. Uh, it's, uh, it actually came out much later than I thought. Locomotion, uh, which we reviewed here previously, uh, has had a lot of people telling the comments of, oh, it's a bit like Pipe Mania. You've got your square grid, you've got to move things around. And to be fair, there are a lot of games out there that are like that. Uh, where you are moving the things around, um, they're in a grid, uh, so it is not uh, an unusual uh, game, but uh, spun off an arcade game uh, of the same name, uh, hit mostly in the 16-bit uh, uh, machines, so you look at your Atari's, uh, Atari ST and your Amigas, uh, as it came out for, yep, yeah, they got originally Amiga, Atari ST and MS-DOS in June 1989, uh, ported back to uh, various uh, 8 bits in 1990, reworked in Windows 991, uh, and the Nintendo Super Famicom, that's your Super NES, uh, for those of you in Europe, uh, in 1991. So it's actually much later uh, than I thought, than even I thought. You know, it's just like, wh why did it take so long for everybody to, to find this one here? Now, the, the game itself, you know, it's an arcade game, and I thought maybe it's just because the arcade game. Uh, was you know they just left behind but no uh, that was a uh, pipe dream came out in 1990 so yeah i would love just to go into that and find out you know was it done alongside the 16-bit games because it gets pretty close to it in terms of timings uh was it you know back port forward port was it all done in one project or stuff i suspect there's a bit of history in that one but anyway pipe mania uh, on the ZX Spectrum is where we're going. So we have our loading screen, uh, which um, I have to say looks far better than the tape cover. The tape cover does have the orange and, and the manic, but then it's got that sort of wasted space of grey and scream in the background. It doesn't really, you know, it's like I can understand a game making character frustrated, but why would I buy a game that makes me frustrated? And why would you put that on the cover? Not quite sure on that one. Anyway, it kicks off. Player one, I press fire. I like this. You don't actually select a joystick. You just um, set, it's waiting for all the signals. So uh, we'll press fire on our Kempston joystick. Like that. Uh, player two. So space bar automatically. So left, right, up, down, QA, or P. Uh, and then we're into a relatively simple menu screen. Uh, you've got password jumping to jump you between the levels. Uh, I think it's every four levels that you get to jump through. Uh, you've got uh, one player, two player, trainer, and expert mode. Well, we'll keep it the normal. If you've made a mistake, you can redefine the joystick. Uh, but let's just go in and play. It is your classic uh, Point Mania grid. Nowadays, it's called classic. Uh, it was uh, pretty revolutionary uh, back then. So uh, I've got a rough idea of what we want to do here. Uh, bu, bu, bu. You need to get a certain distance uh, of flow of the pipe. You need to not accidentally bomb the wrong thing because you're talking, you dozy, you jit. Uh, but there we go. Let's just throw some spare tiles down there. Um, obviously, you do have the ability to bomb tiles, but I think what we'll do here is we'll go for what I call my little flower chain. So we want to do that way, that way. You get 100 points. Uh, you lose 50 points whenever you place uh, a tile down incorrectly. Uh, uh, and uh, once you feel that you've got a certain distance of tile in the right place, you can just go ahead uh, and send it packing. It seems to have just thrown a lot of rubbish around here, haven't I? This is just a lot of rubbish, so let's just do that. Um, should we go for the extra points? Let's go for the extra points on the flow. So I'll put that one there. You get a bonus if you get five crosses. And we've got a low amount of movement here so I think we're going to be okay just to do some extra bombs you're getting 100 points for every time you pass through a tile so there we go there and uh, have I got that right no I need to do one two more there we go press the under key 
open up the valve, and away you go. That is quite mainly, of course, nowadays most people know it as a sort of mini games for pretending that you're hacking off a computer uh, in, in a big old RPG or 3D game. So it's a game that's become known more for its uh, mini game status uh, than anything else. But that's okay. We've all got to earn a crust, and at least it's remembered. It doesn't always happen. So, as a game developer, just be thankful that people know your game is still out there. And presumably, if it's in big titles like that, the IP lawyers are going to get involved. So, uh, you will all be aware of what needs to be done in getting tiles. Okay. Ba Oh, let's just be a little bit greedy, shall we? Does that get me one, two, three, maybe it's five crossovers? So there's a four thousand point bonus. So we'll take that and roll it through as well. No, you can still carry on play styles as well while you're at the end. And one of the things that's curious about Pipe Mania now is it it does get a little bit more frantic as you go through, but it's a very slow burn uh, of a puzzle game. Uh, it, it's frantic. It's not over uh, in in a few seconds. It does take its time to allow you to enjoy it really I suppose as long as you're switched on enough and you're not just losing a huge amount of focus because you're talking about reviewing the game uh, you can just really enjoy the world as it passes by yeah now if you are you know when you feel that it's really going for the high score then obviously there's a lot more consideration you, you really don't want to be going exploding too many bombs as they go through and you don't want to place pieces in the wrong place so you've got some consideration um, if you wanted to go for the high score for me um, just your idea of just getting your four five crosses to get your four thousand points it's gonna do that you get your rising tone as well, just to... You know what? Just going to hold it there. That's one, two, three, four. Didn't quite get the fifth one in. Um, not going to fuss it. Just going to sit back and chill. That's the thing. This is what I'm saying. This is, this is quite a chill puzzle game. Uh, there's, there's not much to say that's wrong about it. The controls are, are there, but they're relatively precise. It's left, right, up, down, and your control stick. Fire to place. If you want to do a bomb on anything, then you're just pressing the fire again on the button. You've got a pretty big gameplay grid. Once you get up to about sort of level 7 or 8, though, it does get a little bit more cramped um, as it brings in just a few more. And there are moments such as there, uh, when you need to be aware uh, that things are going on, uh, and it is possible uh, for you just to look yourself out of time, so just put a random one in there to get that piece in, and uh, see, I would have, you know, you've placed it, but there's already a bit going through, so there's a there's there's just a right level of have a nice evening. That's okay. Just sit there, chill, get through. Let's see if it, and, and you know you've got bonus levels as well, uh, which a uh, little sort of slidey uh, drop game like you have in an arcade uh, to try and win a teddy bear, uh, which are which is nice. But uh, point me on a hole. Uh, Nice is not damning it with faint praise, but you know, once you've played it and once you know what's going on, that's 
pretty much it. There's not much more that you're expected to do. There's no huge massive flash graphics uh, going on as well. It just sits there quite nicely. Got to remember where when you've got gaps to get certain pieces coming in. Uh, but all in all, it's a nice, steady, well-paced Spectrum game. And uh, where am I going to go with this one? Where am I going to go? Let's try that one in there. Well, you know what? Let's just try and get some big flashy double-triple crosses over and see what happens. Do that. We do need to get a vertical piece, but we've got a little bit of time. Uh, before we need to get that. We should have used that piece earlier on there. But there we go. We'll use the crosshair to get the horizontal piece. Drop that one in there. Sorry, I just stopped there uh, focusing on <laughs> There is that, just to just let yourself drift away quietly in the background. Oh, you never know, we might get double cross here. There we go, pop that one over there. One bomb. bomb there we go is it worth trying to get the cross on this one it's only it's only 100 points that we're gonna 150 points we're gonna lose so we'll take the cross on that one and we got said we could press enter now to speed it up we'll just leave that nice and chill it's point mania um graphic wise it's slightly more than functional um action wise it's slightly more than chill in terms of high stress it's not a huge amount of it um it's just really nice relaxing i'm reviewing this on a friday evening it's a nice friday night chill game um the, the rising tone oh, okay maybe that could be uh, a little bit better uh it's doing its best to inject some tension into the proceedings but all in all it's nice it's fun does what it needs to do in the tin uh, and when I loaded it up, I had, I had memories of playing it and thinking, even then it was quite a sparse looking game. And it is. But it, it all still works. It all still hangs together. Sometimes you need flash, sometimes you need graphics, sometimes you need colour clash all over the screen, pixel perfect detection. Sometimes you just need pipe mania. And that's all it delivers. As always, <laughs> on this channel it seems, everything is recommended. But uh, sometimes you just need a little bit of flow to keep it going. And a little bit of flow sounds like pipe mania. And this, giraffe and hat.